Hi everyone, my name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Spiel 2018. I've been joined by Philip Bovach of Board and Dice. And you brought a game with you, Escape Tales The Awakening. Yes, this is something new in Escape Room in a Box game genre. So, uh, in case of only focusing on riddles, we decided to focus on story and put a lot of effort to people engage and go deep inside the story because story is not so usual so You're right normally you, it's here's, a, here's one puzzle here's another puzzle here's yeah. another puzzle yeah. you've, you've put a narrative in there okay yes yeah, so in this game all players become a uh, Samuel and uh, Samuel's daughter is in coma and okay. he is trying to uh, wake up her because no one says what is happening with her. She is uh, sitting, uh, lying in a hospital with no reason. Doctor says that she is perfectly healthy, but she is in Come that on. state. Okay. Yeah. So he uh, finally find a guy who woke up his son from the same mysterious coma. Right. And he passed to him a book with uh, a ritual of the awakening. Yes. So he said that if you perform this, you will transfer yourself to that weird dimension where you will be able to find your daughter and see what is happening with okay. her. Okay. So, Unconventional method yeah. of waking someone from a coma. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So rather than escaping from yes. something, you are looking for something oh, okay. in this right. game. Right. So inside this game, we put a lot of efforts to create something new because the game, uh, this game, comes with uh, come with uh, seven different endings. Okay. And only. So you're not necessarily going to find one thing at the end. Hey, you yeah. succeeded. It could be yeah. a series of. Yeah. Different. So okay. if, even if two players are playing uh, separate games they will have different uh, outcomes. Okay. So, because it depends on your decisions, right. on how you explore. So can you tell me your, a little bit about how this, this works? Yeah, here? so here we have a board, and on the board we have set up the first location, which is your basement, because you will be uh, entering this dimension, so you, the first thing in the game you are doing, you are pre preparing this ritual. Sure, okay. So, if you are succeed, you will transfer to the next location in that weird dimension. So, we have a big picture, and then we have a map. Right. And this map navigates you through the story. Because it is like in the real um, escape room. We want to give people a freedom right. where they are going. So, for example, you are not like you have those and you need to do before you proceed next. Now, players need to decide where to go. So, for example, oh, maybe okay. we will go there. Right. So, so you're not necessarily on one path. You can, yeah. you can branch off yeah. and do something, come back. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. and every time, very different. All right. So, for example, if we want to go there, we put that marker on that spot here. Because that's A1, and there's yes. A1 on this. Okay. Yeah. Right. And this says which paragraph you need to read. So, P004. So, right. you take the story okay, book. And you need to find P004, we have here. Right. So we have some story here. Yes, that you so read. You, you, okay. you learn this weird dimension, you try to figure out what is happening. And below, you have information wha what you find there. You can find their cards, stuff you will need to do. So most of the clues and things are contained kind of in here. These are the items you might find. These yeah. look like uh, locations. Location, next okay. location. So this little breakdown is actually this entire yeah. outline, but broken into grids. Yes. Okay. And so there's one of these for each yes. combination? For, okay. for each location. And what this construction gives us, first of all, uh, from each location you can uh, progress on three different ways. Right. So uh, you can... This leads us to the conclusion that you can play this game more than once. Yeah, that's what I was curious about. So this is a replayable. Yes. Okay. Yes, because for example, you want to reach different outcome. Right. Uh, so different ending, uh, or you want to reach those rooms or riddles you didn't discover because. So you can get to the end of the game without having fully explored yes. everything in the game. Okay, yes. that is quite different. Because yeah, yeah because it depends how you explore, which right. part of the story you touch, where those parts of the story leads you. Okay. You will also meet some people there. Yes. Some characters, and you you will need to decide: do you trust or do you give something to right. her? Because you will find some items that you will carry on till the end of the game, and someone you will don't find, someone you will find and use, someone you decide to not use. 
there are a lot of freedom in the game. Yeah, but it's quite unusual because I think most escape games, they're yeah. either destructible, so you're not able to play them again, or if, you, if they're not destructible, once you've beaten it, then you're sort of done with it at that yeah. point, right? So even, we, yeah. we, we push this even to that point when, the, uh, when, when one decision mm -hmm. influences how the next room will be shaped. Oh, interesting. So there, is, there, there are rooms that you want to uh, discover. Yes. And there are rooms that you, uh, depends on your, on your decision, you will get different variant okay. of that room. Right. And how long is this, would you say it takes to play? It probably depends a little bit on which branching path, but approximately yeah. how long? So from three to six hours. Okay. Is oh. this the sort of thing that if you're playing and you want to pause? Yes, yes. We have uh, in a rule book, you will find that on the last page a uh, save. Shape. Okay, how to save the game. Perfect. Yeah, you can, you can stop at any moment. Is there a certain number of players you would typically recommend for this? Or? Uh, from one to four. One to five? One to four, okay. Yeah. But, but of course whenever you, you yeah. yes. And is this available now? Or is yes, this? during this build we have a premiere of this okay, game. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for giving us a quick overview of Escape Tales The Awakening. Thank you. Fantastic. All right, thank you, everyone.